If you've never done a Trapunto block inside of an embroidery hoop, you need to give it a try. It's a lot of fun and we're excited uh, because we just created a brand new feature in the Floriani Total Quilter software that allows you to do auto Trapunto. And until now, it has been something that you really have to understand um, the digitizing of on how to create and lay it out and we've made this process super easy where you can just click a button put in some dimensions and it will automatically create a Trapunto block for you and before I get started showing you how the feature works I want to explain the technique to you and so I have this uh, this uh, PDF up on the screen. This is for a design that we offer um, from our Christmas Trapunto collection, which is just a series of Christmas designs um, that are designed for doing Trapunto blocks. And so on the screen here, you can see that these steps are labeled. The first thing you do is you lay a piece of batting in the hoop and you have a placement stitch that stitches first and that shows you where the Trapunto portion of the block is going to be. The second thing you do is you lay down three layers of Floriani Quilt Soft Poly Batting and you cover it with some water soluble topping and then you tape it down. And after you do this you do the next uh, stitch which is another line that's similar to the placement line. It's just the tack down stitch. And once that's completed you pull, you actually pull the hoop out of the machine. You don't unhoop anything, but you just pull the hoop out and you use the heat um, craft tool. And what you do is you just burn along the edge. You want to make sure you go just to the outside of the thread so you don't melt the thread. And in case you're wondering, uh, rayon thread is uh, great um, to use in this technique um, because it doesn't burn as easy uh, but polyester is fine and you can use that and you just burn away around the edges and once you're done you just pull that out and you can see that there's still some uh, batting left in the center and this is like kind of cookie cut it out now the fourth step is you actually lay a piece of quilt -a soft batting down again and um, you cover the top fabric and you do the right side up and you tape it down and you um, stitch the other colors in the design and when you're done you will have a nice uh, trapunto effect where it really puffs out you have a nice little stippling around the edge and it just really helps to accentuate the design and that's the technique of it. If you haven't done it, you have to do it sometime. It's a lot of fun um, it's, and it's, it is easy to do. And so I'm going to show you how we did this in the software. So I'm going to close this PDF out. And you can see on the screen is I, I have that design up. And how this was created is you had um, a placement line. So you had to go in and create that. You had to create a tack down. And then you have like a um, kind of a basting type stitch and then it's going to do the design and then after the design it's going to stipple and you know you're going to do all the processes in between of adding the batting and the um, water soluble topping and the, the top fabric and um, it's the whole step but to create this in the software you had to do one piece at a time and it could take quite a while to get it to lay out correctly and so what we've done in the software is I'm going to bring up a new page and I'm just going to work with a custom shape here and a custom shape comes with the software they're just these shapes that you can see here and I'm just going to grab one of these I'll just grab this bird and I want to turn this into a Trapunto quilt block so what I do is I come up here and I click on this new icon it's called Auto Quilt Block Trapunto. And when I click on this, it's gonna bring up a sizing window. And what this does, it tells me what size the design is right here. It's 4.72 by 3.37. And, and it will give me a recommended size, you know, to give me enough area around the design. I can modify any of this. Um, for instance, I could say that I want this to be an eight by eight. Um, block 
and I hit OK. And that's all I have to do to create a Trapunto block. The software is going in right now and it is actually creating all of the stitches for me automatically. And so let me zoom out here and you can see, I'm going to put in 3D view, that what I have is just like what you saw before. You have, let me go ahead and hide this artwork here. You're going to have a placement stitch, a tack down stitch, and then the software is going to put like a little basting stitch to help lock everything down before it creates the outline and the stipple stitches. So it's pretty amazing what we we're able to accomplish. We we're able to take something that was a number of steps. Um, there's actually quite a bit of steps that you have to do in order to create a Trapunto block. And what we we're able to do is make it to where you can select one piece of artwork, click a button, and you saw just putting in dimensions and the software did everything else. And this is laid out perfectly for doing Trapunto embroidery blocks. And the one thing that I will say about whenever you're working with Trapunto, it's always a good idea to work with a simple shape. Um, and you want to do something that kind of has enough area to be able to really show the, um, the Trapunto and show the puff of it. And so a design like this is pretty good. Um, I'm going to bring up um, an image here. These were a couple from using the custom shapes a couple blocks that we did in Trapunto. It's really easy to do, it's a lot of fun. And with this one click wonder, as, as uh, I know a lot of people like to call these, um, it was, it's just really simple and easy to do. And I do wanna uh, point out that we do have another feature. I'm just gonna go and hit undo a couple times and you'll see that I have this back up. We also included one that's called Auto Standard Trapunto. And the difference with this and the other one is that this is not going to create a block. And um, so basically how you would use this is if you wanted to create a block and you want to do a bunch of decorative things to it, maybe you didn't want to use stippling, but you just needed to get those, those stitches of the placement, the tack down, and a little outline around it. This is uh, what this was designed for. So if I click this button, um, you'll see that it doesn't come up and ask me what size or anything like that. Instead, what this does is it creates, um, let me hide this artwork again, it creates a placement stitch, a tack down stitch, and then a little border stitch to go around it to lock down that fabric um, when you put it back over the top of the burned out um, uh, batting. So. It works very similar other than it's not going to have the box around the edge for the block and it's not going to have the stippling, but it's going to have the other stitches that are necessary for doing Trapunto. So now you could add this to anything you wanted to create and turn it into a Trapunto design. So we added that option as well. So Auto Trapunto, it's a lot of fun. It's really easy. We're very excited about what we're able to accomplish. We hope that you love it as well. Um, it took quite a bit of effort to, to make this into a one click, basically, to make a Trapunto block. So we cannot wait to see what you do with this. And please do share um, pictures of any blocks that you create that are Trapunto blocks and uh, we look forward to seeing those and in the next video I'm actually going to show you how you can take a design in the software and post it to your Facebook page if you wanted to so make sure you watch that video as well